we are now going to look at a exponential growth problem as it relates to money in a bank account. So for example, too, we have a bank account opens with a thousand dollar deposit. Now, right off the bat, you should be able to see that that represents the initial amount, as we've talked about before with its exponential growth and decay. And particularly when you're talking about money, that initial amount we can call the principal. OK, let's keep reading. And it says it constantly grows at a rate of 3% of its current balance. Now, the key word here is constant. This is, this is relating to compound interest, and we've shown that before any proof. Exponential growth many times is compound, meaning, meaning it's constantly happening, happening. And so at any given point in time, the rate of increase is 3% of its current amount. If we go back and briefly look at the proof that, that I showed, We proved with this. We showed with this proof that first of all, the uh, population is equal to the initial population times e to the kt, where k is the growth constant. I further explained that this is the same as the compound interest formula. The amount in the account is equal to the principal times e to the rt, where r is basically the same as your growth constant. The p is the same as the initial population. In this case, it means principal and a is the amount in the account. In, this, in the exponential growth equation we proved, we called that the population. So all of that being said, we are now going to use that information and that equation to solve this problem. Fortunately, we don't have to reinvent the wheel, so we don't have to do this proof every single time. Now, the first part of this question asks, what formula would give the rate of increase of the account? So since this is talking about the rate of increase and not the actual amount, we will be using the differential formula. We can use the differential formula. Uh, the, the change in population is equal to the growth constant times the population. But since we're talking about money, we will use A prime, which represents the rate in which the amount in the account is changing is equal to the interest rate times the amount in the account. So for step one, as we've talked about before, what we're doing is we're writing out the formulas for exponential growth, and we're ultimately choosing to use the second formula, not the, not the uh, P equals P naught times E to the RT, since the question is asking about the rate of increase of the account. We can further simplify that down to DA over DT is equal to RA. In other words, the rate in which the um, amount in the account is changing is equal to the interest rate times the amount in the account. Next, we're going to write out what we know. They, got, they said the interest rate was 0.03 and that the initial the principal amount was $1,000 in the account. Finally, we're going to plug it into the formula. So we're going to be plugging in 0.03 in for R. And actually, that's all this form. That's really all this example requires is knowing um, the formula for the rate in which the amount in the account is changing and then plugging in 0.03 for R. So what does that actually mean? Well, let's just plug in a, 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 a sum amount. Okay, let's plug in the 1,000 that we are initially given. That means that when you initially put that money into the account, the rate in which the, the rate in which the money in the account is increasing is equal to 0 0.03 times 1,000, which is equal to $30. So the rate in which the amount in the account is increasing initially is equal to thirty dollars. Now, typically, that's that's um, that is an instantaneous rate, but we have to have some sort of idea of what time we're talking about. And when we're talking about bank accounts, we're talking about yearly. Okay, so if we were to example, for example, look at the a equals p e to the r t equation, which we've looked at many times before, the point of three would go in for r, the thousand would go in for the principal. And if we plugged in 1 for t for year, we take the principal amount multiplied by e to the 0.03. That would give us how much money is in the account after, the, after one year. So keep that in mind. It's not like every single second uh, you're adding $30 to the account. That's not what this means. When time is equal to a year, in terms of years, this would mean this is growing at a rate initially of $30 per year. Now we can see though that after the first year, this amount is going to increase, so that rate of increase is going to change. And that's the beauty of these interest formulas and this differential equation with respect to money growing in your account. 
So that's it for this particular example. We're going to get, look at Part B next. For now, we're just looking at the rate of increase of the account. If you have any of the questions about this example, let me know.